All right, welcome back to another Django Pro tutorial series video. Uh, we did the um, boring stuff. The last three videos extremely boring, I know, for both of us. Now we have to install Python. For you guys that already have Python installed, go ahead and skip this video. We're using Python 3.5.2, by the way. So if you do have that installed, go ahead and skip this video. Uh, if you don't have it installed, let's go ahead and get it installed. Uh, go to python.org, all right, here. Click on downloads and, or don't click hover on downloads and then Python 3.5.2. You click on that. Mine says for Mac. If you're on Windows, it'll say Windows. Go ahead and do that. Download it. Go ahead and open up that package. All right, so the first window we see is welcome to Python installer. Uh, Python makes it so easy to install it on any operating system. So we're just going to whiz through this. Introduction page, we can hit continue. Uh, read me, you can read this if you like. Uh, no, thank you. Continue. The license, it's a history. Uh, the Python was created in the early 90s by Guido Van Rossum. Uh, he's the brainchild of Python. He created it. And thank you because I love it. Um, anyway, you can read all the history and the license information if you like. I would say uh, that would take a lot of time. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Uh, next window is destination. Keep it where it's suggested unless you are a pure genius and you know what you're doing. Otherwise, keep it there because you may have problems. Go ahead and hit continue. And then right here it's going to say install. Then a window is going to pop up and ask me for my password. So I'm going to say password and install it. Now I'm going to pause my video because this takes a little bit of time with my computer. All right, so mine finished downloading and installing, or I should say just installing. Uh, go ahead and open up your terminal. If you don't know how to open up your terminal uh, for Mac, uh, you can just go into your finder, go to utilities and then terminal, or you hit command spacebar. Depending on which operating system you have, uh, Siri might ask you what you're looking for, or um, you can just do something like this, and this brings up Spotlight, and you search for Terminal, and that's Command Spacebar. Anyhow, uh, Windows, uh, open up your Command Prompt, and let's get started. Um, what we're doing here is we want to check to make sure it's installed properly. And we also want to figure out how we get to Python 3. So let's start off with, let's just do Python like this, all right? Um, this brings up Python 2.7.10 for me. And the reason this is bringing up Python 2.7 is because I have that installed on my computer. Uh, some of you may and some of you may not. So I'm going to hit Control D to get out of the interpreter. Now I'm going to use Python 3. Three, and that's going to bring up Python 3.5.2. All right, and that's the one you should have installed. And what it did is, uh, well, it brought up 3.5.2. But the important part is, how did we get to Python 3? Did you get to Python 3 using Python, or did you get to Python 3 using Python 3? Um, make note of that because that's how you're going to use it throughout our tutorial series, all right? Because we're using Python 3.5.2. We're not using 2.7, all right? Control D. Uh, one other quick thing to show you. You could have done something like this, Python dash dash version like that. It'll give you the version Python 3 dash dash version Python 3.52, all right? So that's how you install Python on your computer. If you had no errors here in this portion, you got it set up and you're ready to go. Uh, if you did have any problems, let me know via the comments on YouTube and I'll help you out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we set up a virtual